Laceless football boots have skyrocketed in popularity over just the last few years. But it might surprise you that a brand like New Balance is actually helping take the lead on this laceless revolution. And right here, I have New Balance's flagship laceless football boot, the Tequila V4 Pro. And in this video, we're going to go over all of the features that make this football boot unique and stand out amongst the crowd. So we're going to talk not just about how this stacks up against other laces boots, but also how it stacks up against boots that have a more traditional lacing system. And at the end of the video, if you are interested in picking up a pair of the Tequila V4 Pros, I'll leave a link below where you can find them online at a discount. Now getting straight into things, let's talk about the design of these football boots. And the first thing you'll notice when you pick up or look at these pair of boots is that they're constructed with New Balance's one-piece hypo-knit upper material. And before we get too much further, I will say I think this is maybe my favorite color variation that New Balance have released on the Tequila so far. I just love the copper accents on this. As I mentioned, that hypo-knit material is going to form a continuous one-piece upper, and then at the top of the foot here, you're going to have an elasticated collar that runs all the way from the midfoot up around the ankle. And if you look a little bit closer, you will notice that on that hypo-knit upper, you're going to have some embossed elements on the side. These are going to provide a lot of texture for the striking surface when you're trying to curl the ball. New Balance does claim that the reason they placed these embossed elements in the location they did is because it was data driven. I assume that that just means that this is an area where you're more likely to hit the ball. The knitted collar feels really stretchy, but also at the same time tight and structured. In other words, it's not flimsy at all, it actually has a decent amount of volume to it. And that same idea kind of continues along to the upper as well, because it feels pretty structured and firm on the outside. But on the interior here, which you can't see, there's a really soft inner liner that's made of essentially the same material that you're going to get along the midfoot here. Moving on to the outsole of the Tequila V4 Pro, we're going to have a two-tone tooling here that's going to be really rigid throughout the heel and the midfoot, and it's going to have a little bit more give towards the top of the toe box. As far as how rigid the sole plate is, I think it's actually pretty similar to the New Balance 442 V2 Pro, as well as the Furon V7. But what makes this sole plate a lot more unique is the stud configuration. Because in the heel, you're going to have a really simple layout of these four angled studs, but it gets a lot more interesting when you move up towards the toe box. Because higher up on the boot here, you're going to have a mix of both conical and bladed studs, as you can see here. You're going to have those conical studs towards the center here, and they're going to be a little bit longer, providing the grip for most of the time. But then at the edge, or along the circumference of the boot, you're going to have these really sharp bladed elements that are sitting just a bit lower. And the reason that New Balance have placed these bladed studs towards the edge here is just because when you're changing directions and your foot really digs into the ground at an angle, you're going to get a little bit more bite from these studs. If you've ever seen cleats designed for lacrosse or American football, they actually have similar design elements to this as well. Although I have seen companies combine conical and bladed studs in their football boots before, I haven't seen them adding bladed studs to the perimeter like this, so I think it's a really cool feature. Moving on to the fit and feel of the Tequilas, so what was it actually like to try on these boots and just walk around with them? So one thing I appreciated is that the Tequilas were actually pretty easy to slip on compared to some other laces boots I've tried in the past. You are going to have to use a little bit more force and be a little bit more aggressive just to get your foot past that collar, but once you do that, they're pretty simple to slip on. And once they are on your feet, they feel tight and secure pretty much throughout the entire length of your foot. You're going to feel a good amount of lockdown on the heel and your feet aren't going to be swimming around in the midfoot or the toe box. I did notice that New Balance have also added a really plush inner heel liner as well. It's really hard to see through this thick collar here, but it's pretty similar to the plush heel liner that Adidas uses on their X-Crazy Fast models. It just helps ensure that you're not going to feel any blisters and there's an easier break-in period in my opinion when you have the boots on. But overall when I put these on, what I appreciated most was just there was no pressure points at any one area of my foot. Because oftentimes when you wear laceless football boots, you find that they can be a little bit too tight in certain areas to accommodate for the fact that they're not getting locked down from the laces. But instead, New Balance did a really good job just focusing on getting that lockdown through that elasticated collar so that they could have a more accommodating fit in the rest of the boot. And speaking of room in the rest of the boot, there is more volume in this toe box than any other laces football boot I've tried on. So if you do have wide feet and you're looking for laces football boots, I think this has to be on your list. And just as a reminder, these came in the standard width variation from New Balance, and they were true to size for me at a 10.5 US. If I could make one small comment about the fit and feel, it's actually just taking these boots off I found to be pretty challenging. And if anything, that might be testament to the fact that the lockdown is pretty good. So moving on, let's talk about the playability of these football boots. 
Because if I'm being honest, it always feels like there's a bit of an adjustment when I'm going from lace football boots to playing with laces boots. But the Tequilas made that adjustment period really easy. And when I was getting some light touches on the ball and just doing some juggling, it felt nice to have the lacing system out of the way. I could just get a really clean connection on the ball. I noticed a ton of traction coming from that sole plate. I was on firm natural grass and there wasn't any slipping whatsoever. And also when I was running high speeds, I never felt like my foot was losing any grip with the heel of the shoe. The collar definitely did a great job at keeping my foot secured and in place. I did wish that I had some full size goals to shoot at at the field I was at or else I probably would have gotten some more shooting in. But I did want to make a few comments about the embossed elements on the side of the boot here because I definitely think they do make a difference when you're striking the ball. And I would say that when you're striking the ball or trying to get a curved long shot or a curved long ball, you get as much traction from this boot as you do from the Predator accuracy from Adidas. Although these embossed elements may not seem really noticeable when you're first looking at the boot, I think they have a really positive impact on your striking. Could be something that you want to keep in mind if you're a free kick specialist. One complaint I will say I had while I was playing with these is that I do just wish that New Balance offered an AG sole plate variation of the Tequilas because I could tell I got a lot of traction with this sole plate, especially with these bladed studs here along the edge of the boot, but I think they're just a little bit too aggressive to be using on an artificial grass pitch. But nonetheless, while I was playing with these, it was the most fun I've ever had with a laceless football boot. So now we've talked a little bit about what it's like to play in the Tequila V4s, let's discuss how they compare to other football boots on the market. So if you've worn laced football boots your whole life and you're thinking about making the jump to laceless, there might be a couple things you should note. For one, you're not gonna have that same adjustability that comes with the lacing system. So if you're used to lacing your boots a little bit looser towards the toe box and then tightening them up towards the ankle or vice versa, you're not gonna have that same flexibility when you're working with a laceless boot. However, I do think that this elasticated collar does a really good job at offering an accommodating fit for almost any foot type. And then as far as how the Tequila V4 Pro compares to other laceless football boots on the market, Adidas is really the only other player in the game. And from Adidas' side, they've got on offer the Copa Pure, the Predator Accuracy, and the Crazy Fast, all in laces variations. Of those models, the X Crazy Fast Point 1 is probably their strongest laces competitor. Even when comparing the Crazy Fast Point 1 against the Tequila V4, I still think that the Tequila comes out on top. And that's mostly because I just find the upper to be more comfortable and I like that there's more room in the toe box for my slightly wider feet. But the X Crazy Fast Point 1 is a much more minimal football boot, so if you are into those really razor thin, almost translucent uppers, then that could be a good option for you. But if I take every factor into account, like the design, fit, feel, and the playability, the Tequila V4 Pro comes out on top. And to wrap things up, let's talk about the value of these football boots. Are they actually a good deal? So as I'm making this video, you can pick up the Tequila V4 Pro for $215 or less. And keep in mind, that's $50 cheaper than the laceless X Crazy Fast Point 1 from Adidas. Now, New Balance have a track record of making great and slightly more affordable football boots, and the Tequila V4 Pro is no exception. And for arguably the best laceless football boot that you can get, I think that just over $200 is a very reasonable price point. So who would I actually recommend get a pair of the New Balance Tequila V4 Pros? Well, if you're already a big fan of laces football boots or you're coming from more traditional styles and you're just looking to get into that world, I definitely think these are a great option. In addition to that, if you have slightly wider feet and you're looking for a laces model, these should be the boots that you're considering. I'm really excited to see where laces football boot technology goes from here, but if New Balance keeps executing the way they have been, they're definitely going to continue to be a player in the game. So that's going to do it for this review. Let me know if you've gotten a chance to try on these boots and what you think of them. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.